Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm in a lot of pain, really a lot of pain. Um, but we're going out, we're going to the pictures. Here's Jack and uh, he wants to watch a film. And the one good Solo advantage... Star, a Star Wars story. Yeah, that's going to be good. And the great thing is that one really good thing since my disabilities got worse, when I was walking... We used to go to the cinema, Jack will tell you, I used to struggle up the steps, didn't I? Because there were steps in the cinema and no handrail. And you had the box. Yeah, and, and we used to have to, Jack used to have to take all the popcorn and stuff up and then do about three different journeys with popcorn and drinks. And then I used to have to crawl up sometimes the stairs. So it was really embarrassing. Or just hold on to people's shoulders. But now that I'm in a mobility scooter, we get a box, as Jack was saying. We get a box at the back, our own box, um, to sit in, which is great. It's great fun. So it um, means I don't have to struggle with the stairs, obviously. And um, we get our own box, which is really, really lovely. So anyway, to get on to the makeup. So I'm in pain, and I thought today I'm going to use this because I had a comment from one of you. Um, about wanting a very good coverage to cover hyperpigmentation, long wearing um, foundation. Now today, you'll know me, you'll get to know me. The more I'm in pain, the more makeup I put on. Probably shouldn't, I should probably do less and make it look more glowy. But it's just the way I am, I just want it, I want my face to be covered and I want it to look flawless and kind of pick me up and not come off this is the foundation but it is like a concealer right in terms of coverage so i'm going to show you what i do before i'm going to use this brush remember the free brush that i got the other day to really blend it in because you need something to blend it in and before I do that, I'm going to put this liquid chrome. Now this is a, a drug, drug, drug store dupe of the iconic London highlighting drops. There's iconic, there's cover FX, you know those highlighting drops. Um, this is the drug store dupe and it's by Barry M. And they come in about five different colours. They're great. Now normally you just dab them. I'm going to put this over my entire face and before you think I've gone completely mental because I will look like the Tin Man um, because I'm putting a very high coverage foundation on it's going to make me look flat so by putting a really really glitzy highlighting drops underneath all over your face you're compensating for the fact that you're putting a very flat foundation on so it's going to look mental for a minute, okay? But don't worry, bear with me. Sometimes that happens with makeup. It's like when I put my eye makeup on. It looks mental and then it looks fine. So you'll see this. This is going to give me like that highlighted glow all over my face. For some reason, the dropper's not working. So I'm having to kind of fiddle with it to get it now let me just put this light on actually that might be better can you see it's literally i'm gonna look like the tin man out the wizard of oz but that's fine right let's put a bit more on so yeah it looks mental completely mental don't worry It's just compensating for that foundation. I'm repeating myself. Shut up, Ali. Okay, so now I'm going to put this extremely, extremely high coverage foundation on. You often find makeup, if you look up what makeup artists carry in their kit, they'll often have this, but they kind of mix it with other things to use it as a concealer or anything. Now, that's probably too much actually, but I'm putting that on. And then I'm going to blend it on with this. And you will see that it is insane. It will just cover up completely all my hyperpigmentation. This was designed 
don't know actually if it was designed, I'm telling a lie. This is often recommended by um, dermatologists that have done surgery on people's faces and they need to cover scars. That's the kind of thing. Because one sweep and you cover everything. And I don't forget, I'm putting this on with a very... If I put this on with my hands like this, it would just... If I show you that thing on my head, obviously that is raised, so I'm not going to cover that with anything, but you will see it's just insane, <laughs> the coverage. It just covers everything. It will probably cover tattoos and stuff like that. Oh, just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> that wasn't very clever of me. Right. But you do need a brush like this. That eye's going to start watering now. You do need a brush like this to blend this in because otherwise it's going to look cakey. Okay, and you need to blend away. I'm going to shut up so that I can kind of forward through all this. Really blend, blend, blend. You don't want any edges here. And also, before I forward through all this stuff, you want to make sure that you've got a good match for your skin tone because it's really going to show up when you use a full coverage foundation if it's slightly the wrong colour on you, okay? Okay, you can see, because I've blended it so well, that it's not quite covered all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it does when you just put it on with your fingers. And this stuff is not going to budge. Really not going to budge. So I can add glow back in a minute. But I'm heading for a more coverage look. By the way, I know yellow doesn't really suit me. But just to show you, this I, I often wear when I'm lounging around the place. It's Shine, and Shine is the organisation that supports people with spina bifida and hydrocephalus. They're a great organisation. They've given me a lot of support over the years. Um, and <clears throat> that's why I like to support them. Okay, but they have a wear it yellow day, but I'm trying to change that. I've got some of my friends going to be wearing red lipstick on awareness day instead because none of us like wearing yellow. <laughs> okay, one second, I'll be I'm right not going to bother with concealer. There's no need with that foundation. As you can see, it's pretty much covered everything. Um, I'm going to use this. Now, again, because somebody said they want it to last all day, um, <clears throat> this is RCMA. No colour powder. <clears throat> I've had this two and a half years. <laughs> Look at the pot. Okay, it's it just the only thing is it's weird. It's like a salt cellar, so you have to kind of shake some on the table or whatever, or you can decant some in another pot, I suppose, and then pick it up from the table because it's a bit weird. But everybody raves, and it is good because it doesn't leave a kind of white hue on your skin. And it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, it's just no colour. And this is going to set that foundation in place all day. But it will, can you see now why I put that glowy product underneath? Because otherwise I would have looked as flat as a pancake. Um, so you really do need to do a bit of contouring after using that. Otherwise you're just going to look a bit one dimensional, two dimensional, whatever it is. Okay. Now I need to just concentrate on my nose. Now that ain't coming off. <laughs> All right. Except you see now I've got loads of powder. I'll put a bit round my neck, which basically then gets wasted, but still last forever so okay right i'm going to be wearing a red dress today so i'm going to go for a bold red lip because of that i want to keep 
the eyeshadow a little bit more subtle. So, and the other reason I wanted to use this today is because I don't really think it showed its true colours on, on yesterday's swatch video. So this is Laying Low, one of the paint pots by MAC. And I want to show you how this gives a lovely natural kind of look. It kind of evens out the skin tone, but it just makes you look really well groomed. And it's great for a natural day look. I'm just gonna buff that out of the top. Can you see that? And I might put a darker shade like I was talking about in the crease, but I tell you what I'm gonna do, something even easier than that. Hello, Jack Attack. <laughs> He's very good. He looks after me, don't you, when I'm in pain? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have a good day because Mummy's ordered some more makeup and picking it up. No! <laughs> Picking it up from the shop before we go to the pictures. That's my treat. Your treat's the pictures and my treat's the makeup. I'm going to use my Tom Ford palette here. Why? Mm. I will show you. Why? Well, because everyone picked it. So yeah, that every. Tilbury. Yeah, well, I think he's winning over Charlotte Tilbury at the moment, Mr. Tom Ford. Okay, I'm going to use this first on my face and then I'm going to use it on my eyes. Just to show you that if you're like me today and you don't want to be looking for loads of things, you can kind of use your palette that you have for your face to do up your eyes. Do you want me to do up your eyes, Jack? No. Do you think we're alike? I'm yes. sure they're all good. No, I'm asking the viewers. I know you think we're alike. No, you think that we're alike. I do. I, well, you haven't seen that many pictures of Mummy when I was little. And we look... Very, excuse me, Jack. I'm it trying to show people how I'm putting my seconds. makeup on. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to put some underneath here. Okay, and then I'm going to use the blush shade. Now, I can afford to go a bit more with this because I, I should have used my Real Techniques brush, though, because that foundation is quite flat. My eye makeup is going to be quite muted. Can you see now that eye makeup, it sort of looks like you've got no makeup on, but it doesn't. It's just really flattering, and if you're paler than me, it's going to show up a bit more and it's just going to look really lovely. So that is Laying Low by MAC. I'm going to blend all these together in a minute because otherwise you kind of end up with stripes if you do, don't watch it. I was noticing that the, that's why I went back in with the bronzer brush. And then I'm going to put the highlighter on the top here. I'll go back in with the blending brush, the, the blending brush, the bronzer brush. Okay, and that will kind of blend all the colours together a little bit more, just in circular motions, and it will stop you sort of having three lines where you've put those three things. You see what I mean there? So you just circular motions like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blending brush, making sure it's clean, and I'm going to go in with the bronze shade of this palette. I'll put it in the crease of my eyes. And what that'll do is it'll bring the look together because you're using the same colour. 
and it means you're not having to get up if you're tired. I know a few of you like me have bad pain days. If you're tired and you don't want to be getting up getting loads of products, this is a way you can do everything with a couple, a couple of products. And that bronzer will stick to that paint pot and last all day. I mean, the bronzer probably would last all day anyway. It's Tom Ford, but it's just going to help it last because it is like a primer. Do you see that? Now, if I wanted to, I can just do a little bit. I don't really want to do too much, but I can just put a bit of the highlighter with my finger in the centre of my lid there just to kind of make it look a little bit more noticeable. All right, and then I'm going to take the smudge brush, smudge brush, and underneath I'm going to go underneath with the bronzer shade. Just to bring it all together, because if you don't put anything underneath, it can look a bit strange. Okay. Then I'm going to do some mascara and do my brows. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I haven't done my mascara yet. I've done my brows. I wanted them to look a bit more fluffy up today. So I did that with... Um, I did the brow lift of Charlotte Tilbury. And then I used her clear gel to kind of sweep them up. So that you can see the hairs rather than this sort of very tidy line now you've seen me using her eye cheat before and i haven't sharpened this which i should have done don't do as i say don't do as i do do as i say sharpen your your pencil Whoa. now what I'm going to do is you can see that I've used um, I've used her black pen eyeliner. I've forgotten the name. You know what it's called. Um, it's the felt tip pen that she uses. And I'm going to use underneath to tight line and also slightly a little bit under here. I'm going to use her navy blue rock and coal in Marley Midnight. Now, especially if you're a blue eye... Sorry. A brown eyed girl. It's not going to look navy blue because you've got all that black there. But what it's going to do is it just has got this very subtle effect of drawing more attention to your eyes because it contrasts the colour. So it's a bit like, you know, when you put on a blue red lipstick, it makes your teeth look a little bit more white. When you put on a dark blue eyeliner, it's going to make the whites of your eyes look more white and hence bigger. But you won't notice it as blue, but the eye will see it as contrasting. So it's a little clever trick. And Charlotte uses it a lot. She uses... um. She talked once about how she does herself up and she'll often put a little bit of either blue or I think it's um, vi her violet one, her purple one, just in the corner. It doesn't look like she's got purple eyeliner on, your, but it just brow? makes her eyes pop. Okay, she's very much one for making her eyes pop. All right, I'll be back after I put my mascara on. Hi everyone, I'm back and as you can see, I've put on my mascara. And um, we're ready to go with the lips. Now, I've got my red frock on, changed into it. I'm going to go, I've got loads of red lipsticks, loads and loads. But today I'm going to go for Ruby Woo because it's so infamous and also because it lasts so long. But it is very, very matte. It's quite pulling on the lips, so be careful. But I want to kind of that to be the main focus of my face today. So um, I'm starting off with a Ruby Woo lip pencil in MAC.
Now what I will say with red lips is you can go either extreme but don't do something in the middle. Well, you can if you want to but I'm just saying what looks best. So if you don't have steady hands and you can't line your lips very straight, you find it it's really difficult, then I wouldn't go for this very defined lip okay because you're going to see that it's wonky but what you can do is go for the red lip where you smudge it in with your fingers and that looks really good too but if you're lining it and you're doing a precise lip you either do that or you do the red smudged in look um now i'm going to put on ruby woo i'm going to try and put it on with this um, lip brush because that's going to the thing is it's quite stiff the texture of Ruby Woo anyone that's got it will know it's really stiff but that's what makes it last so long I'm going to finish off with a swipe as well. But you almost need to pat this on because it drags your lips. And I actually split my lip putting this on one day because it pulls so much at your lip. Okay, now. As I said before, it's going to show up. Every little bit of wonky hand. So this is what I'm going to show you to finish off, which will tidy it up and what I was telling you about the other day. So Daniel Sandler his concealer in the top okay and his concealer brush and I'm going to put this Now just where that bit's a bit pale and looks pink. And there you get, go, you see it tidies up the lip line. If you go with a concealer that's one shade lighter, it really makes your lips pop. But be careful to blend it in because it will make your lips really come out. So that is my tutorial for the day. Now before I go, I just quickly want to say that as I was talking about my shine t-shirt and as I've been talking about red lips and I've talked about being in pain, um, a few people um, from our group that have all got spina bifida uh, know that I do makeup tutorials. Quite a few of you follow me on here. And on bad pain days, it's become a bit of a thing to put a red lip on. It kind of, one, it brightens up your face very quickly if you're really too tired to put on any makeup. Um, and it's too red for danger. It's like, don't push me today. I'm feeling very, very dodgy. Okay. So it's become a bit of a thing that we're wearing red lips to show that we won't be beaten by pain on bad pain, pain days. And so in October on Spina Bifida Awareness Day, rather than trying to find yellow makeup, 
which looks, let's face it, looks awful on everyone. Um, I've asked all my friends to wear a red lip for shine. So catch me in October and I hope you can join me to do that. Any red lip will do, whatever you have, um, and post a selfie. And if you can, donate a small amount to shine, whatever you can afford. Okay, I will give you more details of that nearer the time. But for now, have a great day. We're off to the pictures and I'm off to pick up couple more Tom Ford products. I'm sure that's going to be the last for this month. I promise. <laughs> okay, take care and see you next weekend. Bye-bye.